Hey, good day, guys and girls. It's Trady. Tough test time, and I'm down here at Mona Vale catching up with my good mate, hey, mate. James. Jimmy Sawman, how are you, bro? Good, bro. Really good. Mate, whenever it's BOC time or anything to do with metal fabrication, you're always our man. Always and ready. look, the same goes for our EWM Tetris XQ230 VRD machine that we're ripping into today. With the updated VRD, yeah, that's a, a main component of this one. They've just gone with a bigger, more friendly and easy to use interface, which we've been playing with today. And Perfect. So for people out there that aren't familiar, I yeah. guess you're talking about the actual control panel, the screen with all the graphics, yeah, exactly. and I guess it's not just the, the ease of use and functionality is, is pretty big, right? Yep. So for someone like yourself who's welding exotic materials yep. as well as a first time user, uh -huh. things just got a lot easier, right? It got right? a lot easier, especially, uh, yeah, like you're saying, because we're going to swap between exotic metals, we've got to be able to switch between the modes and the pulses and your frequencies and stuff. Yep. So back, I guess, with everyone being more acceptable to phones and this digital screen today. We've gone away from the analog style machines and it's yeah. come into this big, beautiful VRD interface that we can program and lock in certain things so we can swap from the stainless to the aluminium to the brass to whatever we need to go and it's That's just all the press of a button. Perfect, yeah. mate. Love, love and love. notch. So, Jimmy, from the portability factor as yep. well, great size little unit. You yep. could, this could either be a great machine in here for the workshop or on site. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Especially in instances where we need to go on site and finish jobs like so. Um, yeah. To be able to take this on site is an amazing thing. Like, usually the machine would be massive, you know, and, yeah. and they've, again, every time they come out with new machines, technology gets bigger, machines are getting smaller. Yeah, Making fantastic. it more easy and portable. This is also a 240 setup. So it can yep. be used anywhere, anytime. ACDC too, right? ACDC machine, so you can do your aluminium welding, your stainless welding. Um, it's got stick attachments. Yep. So, um, and yeah. It's a win-win-win. Yep, it's great. Awesome, mate, yep. awesome. So look, we're obviously going to be showing everyone uh, a pile of cool shots, yep. both on the boat and yeah, also yeah. inside when you when you were on the bench. But what did it actually feel like when you got, you know, the gun in your hand and yeah, you're yeah. working through those different materials? How did it all feel? No, it felt really good. When you're welding different materials, you're going through um, a lot of different heat stages and whatnot, so you've got to be able to come in and out, um, heat in, heat out. Which again, these torches have got the buttons and controls all in your hand. Yep. Um, these can also plug into a water cooling machine, which is a good thing too, because yep. when you're running these industrially, like you're getting a lot of heat and the stuff and into your torches and everything. Yep. So being able to plug into a water cooling machine, which you can easily buy the unit for this and plug it in. Awesome. That's a big thing to, to keep your um, consumable life better and all that kind of gear, and those things do make a big difference. Fantastic. Like you're saying, when you're playing between these uh, metals all day, every day, so. Awesome, so yeah. you've, Previously, or at the yeah. moment, you've currently got what the 300. We've got the three. The old, the old, the original, yeah, yep, the original, yep. but the previous model. Yep. And we've just upgraded to this one, and loving it. Loving life. Awesome, bud. So, Jim, in wrapping up, mate. Obviously, we can see from all of those shots we've just shared. Yep. Performance, beautiful, lightweight, compact, easy to get around, awesome. What were your final thoughts when we wrap up? Yeah, no, the final thoughts for me. Yeah, it's just incredibly easy to use interface. It's very sort of endearing interface. Like you want to get in there and play with the buttons. Not too scary. <laughs> no, exactly, and before you almost just put up with what you had because it was such an analog style system, but yep. you're actually finding yourself going in there and playing with your settings a lot more to perfect those welds, yep. get your cleaner welds and everything, just because it's such a user-friendly system. So Beautiful. We and found that really engaging, and uh, we're definitely going to be upgrading to one of these. And everyone knows, mate, when you're doing work like this, you know, yeah. you're beautiful, so it's got to be spot yeah, on. Yeah, especially when you swap into your brass and your aluminium and then cleaning and all that stuff really comes into play. It's, awesome. it's pretty important. Another cool part of this uh, new interface is, as you see, You've got your tungsten, which you sharpen for your stainless and what welding. And then if you go into the system here, it's got a balling function, which is really great. As welders that are averse in welding aluminium know that you need to get a nice ball on the end of your tungsten. So this machine, at a simple press of a button, will give you a balling setup. And then you go through and put in your electro diameter or your tungsten diameter and select an amperage. Like so. And then go to your machine. Watch your eyes, Jamie. As you can see, it gives you the beautiful ball under the end of the tip, so you can produce your nice AC welds on your aluminium. Thanks so much, Tim, for helping out. Pleasure. You're a legend as per usual. So for everybody out there, I hope you enjoyed checking out this new EWM uh, from BOC. Make sure you check out not just this epic machine, but their full range next time you're in store. Till next time, this is Jim, I'm Jamie. We'll catch you real soon.